<laughs> okay, everybody looks pretty funny. <laughs> It was a big day in Salinas Valley Memorial's neonatal intensive care unit last December. The church twins were going home. This will be fun at home. Okay. Born six weeks before their due date, Sydney and Jacqueline took up residency here for the better part of a month and endeared themselves to a devoted staff. It's scary. It was, it was uh, you know, we had to be very careful that we weren't uh, missing anything. They were just about six weeks early. They were very special babies in that they were the product of in vitro fertilization, so the parents have been working quite hard to have babies. It's kind of a roller coaster ride when you're in the NICU because every day it seems like there's something new that surfaces. Um, for example, when Jackie was first born, her head was shaped kind of weird and they thought she might have encephalitis. And then later on, Sydney developed um, an issue with her bowel, and so as you're going through this roller coaster ride, they're really guiding you. The doctors are guiding you and explaining things to you, and, and then the nurses are there just supporting you. Uh, the care I received in the NICU was, it was really good. Uh, you know, from the doctors to the nurses, uh, you know, everybody that walked in there was, was really good. I, ca I can't say enough good things about the, the staff in the NICU. I think for the staff and the doctors, uh, we put a lot of time and energy, and we worry on our own, and we have concerns. and. When you get a chance to see them through, through the whole process like we did, um, it's just so rewarding. It's, uh, it's one of the unique things we have here in neonatology. The staff in the NICU, to me, was um, excellent. They cared for um, our children in such a loving manner, um, as if they were their own. And I'd walk in half the time and one of them would be rocking them and, you know, holding them, they're feeding them. Those nurses fall in love with your babies, you know? <laughs> They do, I mean. Yeah. You don't feel like you've been away from them all day? No, or at least if you have, someone else has been yeah. taking care of them. Yeah. Like, and not clinically taking care of them, but in a nurturing way taking care of them. Babies? Sydney and Jacqueline joined their older sister Josie at home, and now parents Jeff and Aaron Church have a busy household. Josie's 18 months now, and she was a week shy of her first birthday when the twins arrived. And so for one week every year, they will be the exact same age. But this is more than a story of medical miracles. It is one of fate. You see, it was one of Jeff's ancestors who donated the land on which Salinas Valley Memorial stands, and he spearheaded the effort to build this hospital. It makes you wonder if in some way, Bruce Church, on the day of this groundbreaking more than 50 years ago, could have had these two in mind when he worked so tirelessly to bring this hospital to the Central Coast. Having a, a NICU in Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital um, was a blessing for us. You know, knowing that there was a NICU in Salinas was important for me. Just because if anything was going to happen to them or if they had any issues, someone was right there to take care of it. And it was also, for us, it was a blessing because me having a C-section, I was able to be where my kids were going to be. You know, I hear a lot of stories about, you know, when people used to have to go up there because they didn't have this, this level of NICU here, and um, I can't imagine me being in the hospital for three or four days recovering from a C-section and him being up with my kids. That would be really hard.